In this video, we're going to have a look at a style of editing called continuity editing. It's one of my favorite things to do in movie making. And what we're going to do is take a number of movie clips and then edit them together so that it looks like the actor or the actress is doing one continuous motion. It's a really cool thing to do. And Lightworks is actually a really cool program to use to do it. Now you can see in my Lightworks, I've already got my clips in there. I've named them. Please get into the habit of naming clips, especially when you end up with 12, 20, 50, 100 clips. It will save your time and your sanity. You can see a couple of things. Number one, I filmed a lot of clips and I'm only going to use some of them. Let me just click over here so that we can see exactly what we're dealing with. So you can see I've got a number of clips, typing, close up, getting up, and so on and so on, just to make this scene. So advice number one, film more than you think you need. At the time, get your actor or actress to do things twice or three times. Move the camera a little bit, just so that you've got some shots that you can use later. There's nothing more frustrating a week later sitting down to edit and realizing that you missed a shot out. You'll never get it again and it will never look right. Now this style of editing is really good for any kind of video, but especially for things like life hacks, DIY videos, or even videos where you're just talking to a camera. These kind of edits make your videos look really professional. So let's get going with editing our movie. Let's start with video 1A, typing close up. I've already marked an in and out. Now, you might be wondering where the audio is. Before we go any further, the one thing that will completely break continuity editing is the sound underneath. You may have seen videos where the camera moves from one scene to another and the background noise changes completely. And I filmed this in a school, which means I've got the noise of everybody walking around, cars outside, plus the air conditioning in my room. So if I was to leave the audio in my videos, you could tell immediately that the camera was changing and there was different times and it just doesn't look good. So in this case, I won't have any audio. If on the other hand, you're filming in a studio, your room or a controlled situation, you can leave the audio in because it won't really make that much difference. So let's get to editing. You can see that this starts off with the actress typing and moving a hand to the mouse like that. Let's see how much more of this movie we've got. Yeah, I'm gonna, just gonna make that movie a little bit longer so I've got some options. So you can see, as she types, she moves her hand to the mouse and then moves the mouse. I'm going to go to about there, press C on my keyboard, just get rid of that tiny little clip there. I'm gonna move to number one, which is the typing one clip. And what I'm going to try and do is see if her hand moving to the mouse matches what's already going on. And I think what I'll do is just Fast forward it there, press C on my keyboard, get rid of that small little thing, right click and close the gap. Let's have a look and see if that cut matches what she's doing. Yeah, actually it's not bad. I'm going to watch that from the start again and let's see what happens. Yeah, it's actually not bad. It looks like she's doing one action there. Now you can see the actress is pushing a chair back, hands on the table and getting off the chair. Now let's see where we're gonna to go to next. That's the medium shot there. I'm gonna pick that up and put it down. Now note I've already gone and marked ins and outs before this video started, just to save some time. So let's go back. She puts her hands on the table and just gets off the seat there. I'm gonna press C on my keyboard, get rid of that, close that gap up, and let's see what happens now. So we've got lifting off the chair and you can see that we've got way too much overlap there so she's already doing that action so what I'm going to do just to show you how this could work I'm going to click on the clip just on the left hand side to turn it yellow and now using my arrow keys I can actually fast forward the frames on the screen right now you can see a picture on the left and a picture on the right that picture on the left is the typing one clip and that picture on the right is the getting up clip. So what we can do is we can actually match her action from the left hand clip to the right hand clip. So let's do that. With the arrow keys, I'm gonna press right. Her hands go on the table, she starts to get up, and I'm actually gonna just leave it there. Press on the clip, rewind it a bit, and just watch what happens. Yeah, that's pretty good. Actually, I might, 
I might rewind a couple of frames because it looks like she jumps up really fast. So I'm going to just lower her down a little bit there and let's press rewind. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. Remember, you can always go back and fine tune these frames. So I'm just going to work through it really quickly. Our next clip is where she walks past the camera. So if you have a look at getting up, she walks past the camera quite close to it there and you can just see her elbow. And then we move to the door clip, which is her getting to the door and opening it. Now what I want to do is kind of match it so that as she leaves the scene there, I can just see her elbow. I'm going to click on the clip to make it yellow. And I'm just going to move that backwards so that I can just see her elbow on the left hand side about there. I'm going to unclick that and now click on the other one. And with my right arrow, I'm just going to move it forward until she appears in there. So you can just see her hand in the clip there. I'm going to unclick that and let's see if that works. You see that's actually pretty good. So she walks past the camera and it almost looks like I turned the camera really fast, which is quite cool. Now she gets to the door and she opens it. Now let's have a look at her footsteps. She puts her left foot down and her right foot down there. Let me just extend that a tiny bit so that we can see what's going on. So let's do that again. She puts her left foot down and her right foot there. And I might actually just stop it there. Press C on my keyboard, pick that up and throw that away. And then the final one is actually where she walks out. So I'm going to pick that up and put it down. And let's have a look at here. So we can see the doors opening. Her right foot is on the floor. And of course, I've gone backwards there. So left foot on the floor and her right foot on the floor there. So let's just press C on my keyboard, pick that up, right click, close gap. And let's see if we manage to match those two actions there. So she puts her right foot down. It's actually not a bad one there. So let's have a look. Let's rewind that to the start and have a look at how this looks as one continuous action. So there she's typing, hand on the mouse, hand still on the mouse. She's going to now push the chair back, get up, go to the door, open it. It's actually not bad. Please forgive my laptop for lagging because this is quite hard for my laptop to do at the moment. And we'll just watch that again. Pushes the drawer open and goes out. Well, I hope you can see that this kind of editing is really fun to do but only if you've done your preparation beforehand. So how you filmed it, where you filmed it, how you planned each shot, what you've told your actor, actress, what to do and how to do it is really important because it's really hard to do this kind of editing if you've just randomly shot a number of shots and then try to make it look like one continuous action.